This review is a bit later than intended, but better late than never. When I was ramping up to play Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus, I thought it would be a good idea to play and review The Old Blood and The New Order. With The Old Blood review completed, let's focus on The New Order. The New Order opens up with BJ Blazkowicz and Fergus Reed pursuing General Deathhead at a secure compound. Alongside them is a rookie private, Wyatt, who is very green and not as well seasoned as a combatant as BJ and Fergus. While en route, their plane goes down and they are covertly storming the beach in order to reach Death's Head, which could be the key to winning the Second Great War. In this alternate timeline, the Germans are winning thanks to their technical advancements in robotics and engineering. When they finally do make it to where they think Death's Head is located, they are trapped and BJ is given the difficult task of choosing which comrade will die by Death's Head's hand. Do you save Wyatt or do you save Fergus? This puts two different timelines in the game for replayability's sake. Depending on which one you save, you will have a few different cutscenes and interactions, but the overall story remains the same. It was pretty cool to see both playthroughs and how they're different though. After making the choice, BJ and the survivor that you chose manage to escape, but not before BJ takes some shrapnel to the head, rendering him unconscious. When Blaskowitz wakes up from his coma, he finds himself in an asylum and being cared for by Anya. It's 1960, meaning Blaskowitz has been in a coma for 14 years. The Nazi control the world and are now threatening to shut down the asylum despite the protest from the staff. Things get a bit out of hand and the Nazis start shooting and maiming. The war is over. Well, for everyone except for BJ, who decides to get up and start killing Nazis. With the last surviving Nazi officer in the trunk and Anya at his side, they drive off to her family's farm where they learn that the last remnants of the resistance has been captured. BJ tortures the Nazi officer in order to get intel on where the resistance is being held captive. I'm not going to spoil any more of this game, but it's a lot of action, a lot of great characters, and high octane all the way around. This game is pretty much the same as Old Blood with some more modern weaponry. Level design is well thought out, killing Nazis is a blast even though there were a few frustrating parts mainly to do with an overabundance of frustrating enemy types. But this is a run and gun. Don't sit in the same place for too long or you die. Don't be in the open for too long or you die. Quick reflexes and making the most of every opportunity is how you're going to survive. This is a great single player shooter that gives a broad story in your face and then does some neat world building with newspaper clippings. BJ can still carry his entire arsenal and has to look for some health and armor and ammo pickups. You can unlock perks and traits by completing in-game challenges, but I found that I unlock most everything just by playing the game normally. The game does an amazing job of blending some old school ideas and mechanics with more modern mechanics and ideas. It's not quite as good as Doom, but it's still oh so good. The New Order is a 9 out of 10. If you like killing Nazis and you like alternate steampunk style settings, then no place is more fun than the 1960s. It really gets the adrenaline going, but that's just my opinion. Did you play Wolfenstein The New Order? What did you think of it? Let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to leave a like on the video, and if you're new around here, subscribe for more Let's Plays, reviews, and gaming news. Remember guys that I love your face, and I'll catch you on the flip side. But until then, have a good one.